let's continue with our dom document object model this will be the part 1 and inside this we are going to see four topic that is what is bom now bom is nothing but it stands for browser object model previously we have seen window is the king of entire document and inside window we have a document here browser represents all the browsers we have chrome we have internet explorer we have opera we have safari so these are the browsers so bom stands for browser object model and if you are using any browser there will not be any standard for using this as if you remember for javascript we have a standard ecma script but for bom there are no standards so if you open amazon website inside chrome you are going to get the result and also if you open the same website in internet explorer you will be getting the result so there are no standards for bom now let's understand what actually this bom is so bom is nothing but it is a browser object model suppose this is my entire browser in my browser i am having windows windows will be having access to dom and using windows we can get navigator we can get screen we can find the location and also we can find the history these are the extra things we are going to perform and these things navigator screen location and history that we cannot access using dom that can only be accessed using this windows and windows is also an object and window will be treated as a king and this entire thing it represents our browser bom will be providing many things to windows using that we are going to get the result now suppose you would have seen multiple times we have console in javascript that is also provided by bom let me open my browser i will open console come to console clear this now if i just write here alert one now this is provided by the bom you can see i will be getting the result this is part of windows but that will be provided by bom that is browser object model entire browser and inside that we are having multiple things which will be provided to windows now if i just write here console this console is also provided by bom but it is a part of window so as soon as i hit enter i am having this console object now if i write here window i will get access to windows object inside windows we have this document so what bom will be doing it will allow our javascript to talk to the browser there are multiple browsers as of now i am using chrome browser so if you want to talk to the browser if you want to display content if you want to display uh, anything if you want to display anything other than content then also bom will be allowing us to do that suppose if i just want to display the navigator if i want to open another tab i can just write here window dot open as soon as i hit enter you can see new tab will be open i will inspect this come to console now if i just want to close this window dot close enter that tab will be closed so there are many methods that will be provided by bom and bom will allow javascript to talk to the browser and to display content which is not related to our html so we can get information about the navigator let me open inspect let me open my console now here i can just write here navigator enter now here i am having navigator object now here if i just write window dot navigator enter again i am going to get the same result so these all things will be provided by bom but these will be part of windows so we will get the result and also we can find the history as well if i just write here history enter and also i am going to get the history whatever you want other than html content that will be provided by bom and we can just access those properties or methods here and also that inner width and inner height is also part of this inner height i can just find inner width
enter again i am going to get the result this is our entire browser inside that we have window and inside window we have this document so this navigator what it will be doing it will be giving me information about the browser whichever browser i am using it is going to give me that information and this screen will be giving me information regarding user screen whatever screen you have open it is going to give me information regarding that location will be giving me the current url whichever location i am that location it will be providing and history will be giving information regarding users history so as we have already seen each browser and each new tab will be having different window instance suppose if you have open two windows tab and if you inspect this one this is a separate window instance for this i will be having separate document and for this i will be having separate document due to which we cannot share each other's object both will be treated as different objects and also as i mentioned for bomb there are no standards but for javascript we have a standard ecma script so accordingly we have to write the code but while using bomb there are no standards so same website you can open in any browser you can open in chrome you can open in firefox you can open in internet explorer you are going to get the same result so whatever it is okay this is our entire html part this will be coming inside document and document is a part of window object so this document so this entire html content will also be a part of window object and most of the time we have just seen console.log console.log let me just remove this we have only seen console.log so instead of writing if i just write here window.console you can see here i am having console.log again i am going to get the same result so most of the time we are going to avoid writing windows because every object we can just access by giving the name for document also we do not have to write windows dot document directly we can write document and get the result so this is all about bomb bomb is nothing but browser object model basically that will be representing our entire browsers in that inside we are having window window is nothing but this entire thing this tabs including this tabs and everything and from where our website is visible that is called as dom document object model so you will be having lot of questions here next session we are going to see difference between bom dom and window object